Hi everyone, my name is Chris Harris and I'm from AdamyTutors.com and in this video we're going to look at how we can calculate the pH of a base. Um, now there is another video where we look at um, how we can calculate the pH of an acid. And um, if you want to have a look at that, then just click on the link below and you're more than welcome to have a look. Um, but this time we're going to look at um, what a very similar concept, um, but it has one small addition and that addition is Kw. Now Kw is the ionic product of water. And again, if you're not sure what KW is, there is a video on KW. So if you just click on the link below and you can have a look at that one as well. So we've got our two equations here that we're interested in to calculate the pH of a base. Now we have the pH equation, the standard pH equation, which is pH equals minus log of H plus. And we also have our ionic product of water, which is KW equals H plus uh, multiplied by OH minus. And we're going to use both of these equations to work out our pH. Now, one assumption that we've got to know, and one of many, there's quite a few in this topic, uh, where you have um, a strong base is effectively something that will dissociate fully, a bit like strong acids where we say they ionize or dissociate fully to form H plus and whatever the, um, whatever the other part of the acid was. Well, bases are the same. So if we have sodium hydroxide, we assume that equilibrium lies well over to the right uh, and it produces Na plus and OH minus. And Actually, we, we can make the assumption that um, because it's a strong base that we produce virtually 100% OH minus, um, and so the amount of NaOH is, is pretty much negligible compared to how much of this we've got. So if we can make that assumption, it makes our calculations a lot more simpler. So we're going to look at this question here, and it says calculate the pH of 0.4 moles per dm cubed of sodium hydroxide. Now, um, they've given us a concentration of sodium hydroxide, um, and the first thing actually that we need to do is we need to be able to work out the, um, because we're working out a pH, we need to work out the H plus. Now, because the sodium hydroxide doesn't have any H plus, we have to use Kw to work that out first, then we use the pH equation. So we're going to use Kw first. So you can see here that Kw equals H plus times OH minus. Um, so we're going to write that on there. So Kw equals concentration of H plus multiplied by OH minus. Now we know the value of Kw um, we, at room temperature and pressure. So if this is room temperature and pressure, then the value of Kw is 1 times 10, 1 times 10 to the minus 14. Um, and that's always fixed at room temperature and pressure. And we're going to, uh, that obviously equals the concentration of H plus, which we don't know yet. That's what we're trying to work out. And the concentration of OH minus, um, because we make the assumption um, this is a strong base, then we say the concentration of OH minus is also 0.4 moles per dm cubed. So I'm just going to put that in there, 0.4. Um, and you can see here that we have to rearrange our equation to get H plus. So to rearrange it, we do H plus. Concentration of H plus will equal 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 0.4. So it's 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 0.4. Uh, and that should give us a value of 2.5 times by 10 to the minus 14. There you go. And that's our concentration of H plus. Put moles per dm cubed, because that's the units there. And obviously the last step that we have to do is now we have the H plus. We put it back into our pH equation, which is over here. Uh, and that should tell us our pH. So pH will equal the minus log of, uh, and this is our H plus, which is 2.5 times by 10 to the minus 14. So our pH value um, should come out at 13.6, if you put that into your calculator. And that would be sensible because uh, alkalis or bases, should we say, um, do have a pH that is greater than seven. This number comes out greater than seven. Um, it's quite a high number, close to 14 as well, which again suggests it's a strong base. So this number is a sensible number to suggest um, for, this, uh, for this reaction. Um, but the key thing is, is that if they ask you to work out the pH of a base, you can't use just the pH equation. You have to use Kw as well. Um, and as long as you can remember that, they're actually, as you can see, relatively straightforward to work out. But just remember that assumption, one of many. That's it. Bye.